Hi loves, welcome to today's new video. I'm so excited because today I'm going to share with you three of my favorite recipes for breakfast. And they're all like super easy, uh, you don't need crazy ingredients, things you mostly all have in the house. And yeah, um, I'm still pregnant, <laughs> yes, she's still here. We're so excited for her to come, I can't wait. Um, so yeah, it's like super exciting, these are the last week, so fingers crossed everything will be fine. Um, but yeah, really enjoying, uh, even though pregnancy is not always that easy but um, it's for sure so special to feel her and we just can't wait to meet her um, but talking about that like I'm so happy that the weather is finally changing towards more autumn vibes more cold like I thought I would never said that but like I'm so excited about like more fresh weather um, in pregnancy like this is the summer is, wasn't my favorite thing, so I'm really, really happy that the weather is getting a little fresher. And with the weather getting fresher, it's so nice to also make a little bit more like autumn vibes breakfast. So today, the first recipe is really autumn vibe. It's like a hot oatmeal with pear, cinnamon, like walnuts, like super nice and autumn vibe, I would say. So can't wait to share with you guys. Let's get started with the first recipe for today's video. Cut three fourths of the pear in small pieces and leave the other part just like that. Add butter in a pan and heat it. Add the pieces of the pear and add some cinnamon. Bake for a few minutes and add the oats and milk as well. Add some raisins as well. Heat for about 10 minutes. Add a tiny bit of salt. Serve on a plate and top it with the last part of your pear and slices. Walnuts, honey and cinnamon. Enjoy! Oh my god, looks so good. Smells so good as well. Let's taste. You need a little bit of everything. The pear, oatmeal, raisins, walnuts. Mm. So good. <laughs> and you just need one pen. So you got this. A must try. So good. Mm. Good morning, guys, and welcome to this new day. Um, today it's so much darker out. It's actually raining. So <laughs> yesterday I asked for fall. There's even thunder. And today it's here. <laughs> so I guess I can't complain. I'm still in my chill wear which I love um, and this one is so comfy and good for the bum um, yeah so what we're gonna make today I would like to make a more savory breakfast so um, sometimes that just keeps me more satisfied and full throughout the morning and with sweet I sometimes keep craving more and more throughout the morning so yeah we're gonna make like a little plate but which I love to make um, I'm gonna use like some good bread. There's so much difference between which bread I use, but this one is like whole wheat and then like super thick and more heavy. I like it way more than like the Dutch. We have like in the Netherlands, we have this Dutch bread, which is, you can keep eating it and it's not really filling you up. So I'm gonna toast this for a little bit in a little bit of oil. Of olive oil and then I'm gonna scramble one egg um, and serve it with like mashed avocado, some hummus, some cucumber, like super easy. Let's go! Oh wait, before I forgot, look at this amazing thing that I found. I'm gonna try to find a link and share it in the description but like it's 
where you can like save your avocado in. So since I'm eating everyday avocado, this is amazing. You close it and you keep it in the fridge like that. So amazing. Okay, let's get started. Heat a pan with olive oil and add the bread to toast it. Mash half an avocado and add pepper and salt. Put the bread on a platter and slice it in halves. Heat butter in the pan again and whisk an egg. Add the egg to the pan with pepper and salt and scramble it. Put some hummus on the plate and add the homemade guacamole and scrambled eggs and cucumber. Enjoy! This is gonna be so good. I love like a little snack breakfast platter. And I'm just gonna enjoy this breakfast with some tea. And it's pouring rain at this point. So I guess this is the perfect cozy in the breakfast. Let me actually taste the scrambled eggs. Mm. So good. You have to bake them in butter. Heat the butter very hot and then add the egg. That's the key thing. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, guys, and welcome to this last cozy day for my breakfast recipes. Uh, I'm still in my pajamas, as you can tell, like I just put my hair up. And the last recipe is gonna be an overnight oatmeal. Super nice, super easy, it's so easy to prep, so it's great if you're always on the go or you need to work, hurry in the morning, you don't want to spend as much time in the morning, you want to bring something with you as a breakfast. Um, and I made it there by yesterday evening, so I'm going to insert a little clip on how I made it, like how I prepared everything and what I put in the fridge. So it's going to come right now. This is going to be for two portions. Put the frozen fruits, dates, yogurt, oats, milk and cinnamon in a blender and blend it very well. Place this texture in Tupperware and save it in the fridge overnight. And then, it's today, so let's see how it looks like. It matches my pyjamas. Um, yeah, and you can basically just bring it like this, that's fine. But since I'm home, I want to make it look cute. <laughs> I'm going to put it in a little glass so you can see the color. Top it with some fruits and peanut butter. And that's it. So, let's do that very quickly right now. I just put the overnight oats in a beautiful glass. Top it with half a banana, some berries and running peanut butter. That's it, enjoy! Okay, so basically that's it. And it's so, looks so cute. And of course we're gonna taste, but I know this is just super nice and sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it and I see you next time. And maybe my baby is there, maybe not. We don't know yet. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you do too. And thanks for watching. <laughs>